Okay, Margot, I love your storyline. Um, I think a lot of people will be able to relate to it in the sense of sort of trying to find your way, find your passion, get away from the parents, but still needing the parents. Um, tell me a little bit about how your, your story is going to unfold this season. I mean, I don't want to spoil it too much, but obviously you saw episode one and two. Um, I'm very adamant about being financially independent. Um, I'm also very dependent on my dad. So um, it's a little bit of like that. And I'm, I'm working towards uh, proving, like facing my family, A, B, creating boundaries with my dad, um, which you'll see more of, and, and C, really figuring out what I want to do and what my passions are and where my talents lie. And so that's, that's really the trajectory of, of this season with my personal storyline. Yeah, I, and I th but I think a lot of people your age can relate to that because, you know, we've been in this weird pandemic. You're trying to get your career off the ground. We're all yeah. shut down. We're coming out. Did, have you found like a lot of common ground though with other people in your same situation, just trying to figure it out? I definitely, a lot of people are trying to figure it out. I think that I am very lucky in the sense where I might be getting a little extra spoiled than the like average person <laughs> figuring it out. So it's, it's also those boundaries of like, okay, like maybe I need to like make my lifestyle a little less expensive so I can afford it myself and like not depend on aspects. So it's, it's a lot of that that I'm like conflict wise this season that I, that I'm dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. And I, also I, I, I meet people all the time that, that have the same thing and parents that pay their rent because they get, because, you know, living even in New York or Paris or LA, a major city you have an entry level job, you can't pay rent and have enough money to do it. Like it just isn't, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. I mean, even in the suburbs, I don't think it exists anymore. Yeah. It's just everything yeah. is out of control. Yeah. Um, I know you also have um, some angst with the dating <laughs> and, you know, have you found that it was like harder to meet guys in Paris versus New York or? Um, I think I, I think it had a lot to do with my mindset and you'll, you'll see that more throughout the season. Um, I think I, I had just gotten out of a relationship uh, prior to to starting filming, mm -hmm. and um, and yeah, it was it was hard. It was it was hard for me, but also I I think I needed to be a little bit single um, to be able to fully invest in like what was going on with me and making myself a priority. Yeah, no, for sure. But it'd be a love story between myself and myself. <laughs> that is <laughs> how to be single. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Fantastic, though. That is wonderful. Um, you know, I've, I've wondered, too, you know, you're in, you, you kind of have this life where you're in Paris and you're in America. What do people in Paris really think of Americans right now? We're crazy. <laughs> it's funny. I was at a nightclub um, recently in, in the, south, the south of France, Saint-Tropez, and, and there was, you can bring out flags with the bottles. And usually, you know, American people are very proud of being American, but I was like, you know, this year, like, let's not amp it up, you know? And I was, I was seeing the, the American flags come out and, and there was not the best reactions from people. It was the first time I, I, could, I really saw like it, the American dream is like slowly dying in the French like mindset. Like they're like, it's not that cool. And I'm like, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Move to Paris. <laughs> Are you finding more young people moving there? Because I know yeah. a lot of people are like, we're out of here. Okay. Yeah, a lot, a lot. And a lot of my friends, especially in LA, that are like in the influencing situation, modeling, all that, all are moving to Paris. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, you There's know. like a big creative wave happening in Paris. Like, I'm very excited about it. That is cool. What can you tell us about where you're going to be going with your career? I can say that it's like fashion related. Uh -huh. Um and I'm really excited and it's going to be like collaborative and hopefully there'll be like a lot of growth, but yeah. Yeah. I know that there's a little conflict with Victoria. Oh, um, well, I, I can't, I can't tease. I can't but something spoil. happens. There is some drama. Is that? There's little dramas. Of course there's little dramas. Um, Victoria is one of my closest, closest friends, but yeah, as a friend group, of course you fight here and there. Yeah, no, that is true. That is true. And what is your ties to the other the other women um, in the group? How did you guys kind of all find each other? I think Paris is like the smallest circle. Like if you think New York is a small circle, like Paris is like a million times smaller than that. Yeah. I knew of most of the girls and I was like friendly with like two and, and me and Victoria had a ton of mutual friends. And we had been put in touch a while back. 
Um, I was just introduced to Aja and Casey through Anya and then Emily. So those, but it, it was really, and I already knew of them. So it's kind of like we all meshed together. <laughs> so we all knew of each other. So it was really easy and natural. And yeah. then we just all got closer. That's nice. That is nice. Do you, um, do you feel like it was a good experience having a camera on you the whole time? Or was it, was it a little hard to kind of get used to it, especially at first? Of course, I'm not going to lie. At the beginning, you're like, oh, this is like super new. Like there's these huge cameras, like you're mic'd up, all that. But it, honestly, I, the first day I was like, there's no way I'm going to look natural on this. And now I'm looking at the, the, the episodes and I'm like, you know what? Like, it's okay. Like, I don't look like I'm uncomfortable in front of these cameras. And, and within a week, I was, it was as if they weren't there. But for sure, like the first week was a little bit weird. It's a little weird. And then, I mean, cause you have different people coming in, like your dad and stuff. How was that getting him? I think at one point he was like, look at the camera for a second. I mean, my dad, my dad did, he did his best. There was definitely some slip ups and stuff, but um, I, you'll, you'll see him a, a few more times throughout the season. And, and he's a character as you can probably tell. Yeah. Um, but it was really, it was really cute that he was able to, to be a part of this because he's a huge part of the reality of my life. Yeah. So I'm really happy that he was able to, to, to be filmed. That's wonderful. Do you think we will see you find love perhaps this season? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. All right. Get the cobwebs out, right? Yeah, no, yeah, I, I know. I hear you. Is there anything also, lastly, um, about a big misconception, perhaps, you know, people your age in America have about living perhaps in Paris or abroad? Just that French people are assholes, because they're not. That's they're like, not. Yeah, they're not as big of that. They have, a little, they're more blunt than Americans. But like what I say is like, French people will be a dick to your face. Americans will do it behind your back. So I'm like, I rather the dick to my face <laughs> how are they with the language because not everybody it seems like more people in europe learn english than english people learn another yes well first of all french is much harder to learn than english yeah. i think um but yeah I've, a lot of people speak most people speak a minimum of english here just have okay. a big accent very funny <laughs> <laughs> so you can get around if you're still like learning the language. oh for sure yeah okay very cool. Very cool. Well, I love what we're going to see too. Are you going to take us around Paris as well? Are you like, especially through your eyes, since you know it, will we get to uh, see it, well? Yeah, you'll definitely see Paris through my eyes this season. Yeah. Is there anything, anything favorite that you have? Can you think of that we're going to get to see? Uh, well, I don't want to spoil any future, future episodes, but um, let me try to, in, in, well, uh, the, the first two, you see a lot of my apartment. <laughs> which is one of my favorite places in Paris. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the I love the window refrigerator. You're very uh, creative. Oh god, <laughs> that was fully like I people I feel like are gonna think that's staged. Like absolutely not. <laughs> that was just the reality. Yeah, uh, yeah. And is it true it takes forever to get anything fixed? Yeah. No, I my uh, whole power went out. At one point, um, actually shortly after Anya fixed my fridge, all my power cut. We, I think it's connected. She says it's not. Um, and they, I was like, I called them and they were like, we can come in two weeks. And I was like, I have no hot water, no light. No, I was like, what do you mean two weeks? Like, so I slept at my friend's place and then they find, they had like an emergency guy come, but it, it took at least four days for someone to come for that. Is that normal? Is that pandemic? No, that's normal. Really? Mm -hmm. that's shocking okay big signal. yeah you also just can't pay to get anything expedited too which I kind of like in a way like there's no you know how in America you can expedite your passport and like pay extra or you can expedite things with money you can just expedite things in France it like doesn't exist interest okay that's good that's interesting to know wow yeah. oh my gosh oh. well I love your apartment so I'm gonna put Thanks. that out there I think it's very pretty so um I cannot wait to see what happens, especially with you, because you've got a lot. You have the career and the dating, so yes. it should be interesting. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marco. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.